The portion of vector A that is perpendicular to vector B is shown here and is sometimes denoted by A sub perpendicular. Angle theta is the smallest angle between the two vectors when they are placed tail to tail. This perpendicular portion is A sine theta. The vector cross product of the two vectors A and B produces a vector C equals A cross B. The magnitude of the cross product is the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the sine of the angle between the two vectors when they are placed tail to tail. The magnitude of the cross product gives the portion of one vector that is perpendicular to the other. We have AB sine theta, or the portion of A that is perpendicular to B, times the magnitude of B, or the portion of B that is perpendicular to A, times the magnitude of A. You won't have to calculate sine theta if you can identify a perpendicular portion. Remember that the vector dot product gave the portion of one vector that was parallel to another. For example, if the magnitude of A is 4, the magnitude of B is 7, and theta is 19, please show that the magnitude of the cross product is 9. Two vectors A and B always lie in a plane. The vector C equals A cross B is perpendicular to that plane, no matter the orientation of the plane. My thumb is pointing in the direction of vector C. But the perpendicular vector C could point above the plane or below it. The one we choose is determined by a right hand rule. Using our right hand, we first point our fingers in the direction of vector A and then curl our fingers toward vector B. Your thumb points in the defined direction of A cross B. Let's practice the right hand rule using the unit vectors I hat j hat and k hat. To do the right hand rule for i cross j, we put our fingers in the direction of i, curl them toward j, and our thumb points in the direction of k. i cross j equals k, but if we reverse the order, j cross i equals minus k. In general, b cross a equals minus a cross B. To see this, put our fingers in the direction of J. Orient your arm so that you're able to curl your fingers toward I. And our thumb points in the direction minus K. For K cross I, we put our fingers in the direction of K. Curl them toward I and our thumb points in the J direction. For J cross K, put our fingers in the direction of J, curl them toward K, our thumb points in the I hat direction. For minus X cross minus K, fingers in the direction of the negative X axis, curl them toward negative K, thumb points in the minus J direction. For I cross K, put our fingers in the direction of I, curl toward K, and our thumb points in the minus J direction. For minus K cross I, fingers in the minus K direction, curl toward I, and our thumb points in minus J direction. For minus K cross J, fingers in the direction of negative K, curl them toward J, and our thumb points along the I direction. For minus J cross K, fingers in the direction of negative J, curl them toward K, our thumb points in the minus I direction. Now we can write all the components for the vector A cross B. Here's the vector A with its I, J, and K components, and here's the vector B with its i, j, and k components. 
we multiply these two trinomials and include the cross product between each pair of components. We have a sub x i hat cross each one of these three components of vector b plus a sub y j hat cross each of the three components of vector b plus a sub z k hat cross each of the three components of vector b. For example, the first pair axi hat cross bxi hat gives zero because i hat cross i hat is zero. And then we have ax by i hat cross j hat, which we've decided is k hat. Using i cross j equals k, j cross k equals i, and k cross i equals j, and their negatives, we gather terms and get a cross b equals i hat times this mixture, plus j hat times this mixture, plus k hat times this mixture. Notice that the x part of the cross product depends on y and z components of the two vectors. The y component of the cross product is this mix of x and z components, and the k hat component is this mix of x and y components. The vector cross product c equals a cross b is also written in terms of this determinant, where we list i, j, k in the first row, the x, y, and z components of vector a in the second row, and the x, y, and z components of vector b in the third row. For example, with vector a equals 3i hat minus 4j hat plus 2k hat, and vector b equals minus 2i hat plus 0j hat plus 3k hat, we form the determinant with i, j, k in the first row, 3 minus 4 plus 2 in the second row, minus 2, 0, 3 in the third row. To work out the i hat component of the cross product, we pretend for a moment that the i column is not here. We do minus 4 times 3 and then minus 2 times 0. To get the j hat component, we pretend that the j column is not there. We do 3 times 3 minus 2 times minus 2. But we also put a negative sign out in front of all of that. For the k hat component, we temporarily pretend this column is not there. We do 3 times 0 minus negative 4 times minus 2. The numbers give minus 12 i hat minus 13 j hat minus 8 k hat for the direction of the vector c that results from a cross b. In the determinant, notice that we do plus i, minus j, and then a plus k. The magnitude of the cross product, c equals a cross b, gives a portion of one vector that is perpendicular to the other vector, and the direction of the cross product is given by the mix of products and sums and is always perpendicular to the plane formed by the vectors a and b.